The breakdown was 2006, and the first time I spoke publicly was 2011. Uh, I was writing songs about it, and that's what encouraged people to start asking for the story. Um, I was always able to sing about it uh, for some reason. That felt safe, but speaking about it felt terrifying. And uh, the first time they asked me, I remember it was like weeks leading up to it where I felt like all of those trauma circuits were just lit up. And I just thought, I don't, I don't want to go back. Like, I don't want to go into this story again. Um, but when I spoke that day in, in Minneapolis and I looked out at all the families and I looked at the families that had lost children, I looked at the families that were supporting each other through it, uh, and I saw that it was doing something, that being up there, as uncomfortable as it was in the beginning, and it's gotten a lot easier, but uh, that I was able to turn something that had been so terrifying to me into something that could serve other people. And there was a sense that uh, having survived, there was a responsibility. Um, when I was going through the worst of it, I, did, I felt like there weren't enough stories of young people. There, there wasn't enough. I was hanging on to Kay Redfield Jameson's books for dear life, you know, carrying them around with me. But I felt that there, there weren't enough people my age talking about it, and there wasn't enough giving me a sense that my brain would come back and that there was something on the other side. And I think to, to speak about it started to feel more and more like a responsibility as someone who had, who had gotten through it. And pe people gave me the courage. The courage didn't come from me. Um, people just came up over and over to me after after I spoke and said, I, I needed that, I got something I can work with out of that.